In its 100th anniversary year, Bentley has revealed its latest car, the all-new Flying Spur. The third-generation Flying Spur has been designed and developed at Bentley's headquarters in Crewe and has undergone a ground-up redesign over the outgoing model. That means virtually everything is new, including the platform for example, as the big Bentley four-door saloon now has the same VW Group platform as the Porsche Panamera. It's pretty much the same size as the old Flying Spur, but there's a longer wheelbase which gives the car a bit more presence, if it needed it, and 21-inch wheels are standard. The front end is dominated by a new larger vertical slatted grille, which Bentley says is a nod to the 1957 S1 Continental Flying Spur. It's flanked by new crystal-cut LED matrix headlamps and, for the first time on a modern Bentley, there's a retractable Flying B emblem. Inside, in the cabin, has been carried over wholesale from the new Continental GT. So there's a digital instrument cluster behind the steering wheel and a three-sided rotating central display, giving the driver the option of having a 12.3-inch touchscreen, analog dials or nothing at all. In typical Bentley style, there are a myriad of trims such as eight wood, four stone veneers for the cabin. The leather and the flying spur is offered in 15 colours, with up to 10 hides being needed to trim the entire cabin. While in the back, passengers can now alter the climate control, adjust the seat massager and the lighting. Behind that enormous grille, the Flying Spur is powered by Bentley's 626 brake horsepower 6-litre W12 engine. It develops 900 newton meters of torque, and that power is sent to the road via an 8-speed automatic gearbox. There's a new adaptive four-wheel drive system that can send 100% of the engine's power to the rear axle, and there's torque vectoring technology too. Bentley says 0 to 62 miles an hour takes a claimed 3.8 seconds before going on to a top speed of 207 miles an hour. In fact, the Flying Spur will hit its top speed in 6th gear, 7th and 8th are there for, I quote, economical grand touring. No prices have been revealed yet, but considering the outgoing W12 Flying Spur started at £154,000, your guess is as good as mine. What do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.